In this session, we're going to take a look at assigning tests within Quality Centre. Assignment of tests within Quality Centre typically works at the test case level within the test plan or the test lab areas. We can extend assignment to test sets and test steps, but this requires some custom field setup, which we'll look at later. First though, to put this all in context, let's just review a few quick quality centre key concepts. We have the concept of the test plan, where we define the test cases with test steps and we group them into folders. We also have the test lab, where we create the test sets, which link to a number of test cases from the test plan area. And we then link these folders that contain the test sets to a release or cycle. When we run these test sets, we create test instances within the test runs area. So, how does the assignment of tests work within this framework? At the test plan level, we can define the designer of the test and we can define the reviewer of the test. These assignments have no bearing on the assignments at runtime. They are just assignments with respect to the creation and development of the test case. Within the test lab area, we have assignment of the test cases within the test set. So this is prior to execution of the tests. And this can be seen under the execution grid where we have a list of the test cases within the test set and we have a responsible tester for each of the test cases. Under the test runs area then, we already know that one run equates to one test case within a set. So in this instance we have four test cases and four test runs that are making up one particular test set. And you can see that each of these test cases or each run is then related to one tester and each individual test case within the test set can be assigned to different testers. So within the test lab area then we can see that assignment is done at the test case level within a test set and when we look at the execution grid we'll see instances of test cases assigned to responsible testers and the default responsible tester is defined for the test case instance when the test case is included within the test set. However, the same test set can be copied and run against different releases and cycles and at that point we can define a different responsible tester for the test set and the test cases that are included within that test set. And note that once we've copied that test set, the responsible tester allocated to individual test cases is copied across from the original test set. Modifying the assigned tester can then be accomplished by using the find and replace option or by individually selecting test case records and selecting a tester. Note that it's not possible to bulk select a group of test instances and change the responsible testers. When you start the execution, notice that the responsible tester is now replaced in the test run with the person logged in that is actually running the test, so in this case admin. So whilst there's a responsible tester assigned to the test run, that value is replaced dependent on who actually runs the test. And once the runs complete, you'll also notice that under the test runs area, that users with the required privileges can come in and test or change the tester that ran the test retrospectively. Now we mentioned earlier about assignment at the test set or test step level. 
this requires a little bit of customization. At the test step level, if you come in and view project entities and test step, you can add a user field to track test step assignment. If you want to track at the test set level, then again you can come in, select test set and add a user field for test set assignment. Bear in mind that for this customization at the test set level, this only applies within the test lab tab. It has no re relevance within the test runs area. Okay, the final aspect for us to look at then is the assignment of tests and checking who has been assigned to specific tests. And there's really two quick ways we can do this. We can create a simple filter. And in this particular scenario, we might search based on tester. Or we can add summary graphs. So under the analysis section, we can run a summary graph and we can group by status and runs and then by tester. So in short then assignment really works firstly at the test case level for a test set within the test lab and secondly at the test case instance level for the test set that's being executed at runtime.